January 8th was the most incredible night of my entire life. That was in Las Vegas, Blackhawks versus Golden Knights. I got to work with a great partner in Colby Cohen, and he and I talked beforehand, and he really made me feel comfortable along with the rest of the people with the Blackhawks. The response was wonderful. I was able to chat with fans at the airport after the game. Everything on social media was fantastic. I loved interacting with people afterwards. I couldn't fall asleep until about four in the morning after the game because um, the energy and the adrenaline was just rushing through me. Gets the return feed, the break, it fires, he scores! So my love of broadcasting started out in the state of Michigan, where I'm from. I always loved listening to John Wideman and tuning in on TV, watching Pat Foley, two broadcasters who have become institutions. I did a show with a friend of mine by the name of Jenna Rose, who now works here. Uh, we did a show called the Motor City Roundup, and after we finished up covering an NHL game, I would go up in the gondola during the game, and I'd practice calling it over and over again for reps and practice working to ultimately hopefully live my dream. I was given the game puck, and that is now on my bookshelf at home. It was fantastic. Becoming the first black play-by-play -play broadcaster for the Blackhawks is something that I found out about midway through the first period on Twitter, and it really soaked in, I think, after the game when I started receiving messages from people saying that you could be an inspiration for the next generation of broadcasters, and I can't thank the Blackhawks enough for being an innovative organization that put me in that position. and an organization that celebrates black history. It really is incredible to be a part of. I would love to continue doing the NHL. I think that's my goal. I love this sport. I love this league. I love the game of hockey. So I think that's what I would love to continue doing down the road.